Welcome back, YouTube family. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's get it, baby. Million dollar Ponzi scheme. Prosecutors believe Deborah May Carter here came up with the scheme herself. Carter worked with the man she was having an affair with, former Christian radio broadcaster and host William Gallagher, to steal millions from retirees. Carter made fake documents to lot of the money they stole. Fox 4's Amelia Jones spoke with one of Carter and Gallagher's victims. Amelia. Steve, the woman I spoke to, she actually testified in both trials. She told me Carter showed no remorse for her crimes and no remorse for the dozens of people she hurt. 50 years. Mm -hmm. Brenda and Gary Wilkerson were married on Valentine's Day in 1957. They added four boys to their family and always had strength in their faith. I was taken so easily. <laughs> Brenda was an avid listener to a Christian radio program that featured William Gallagher, mm -hmm. nicknamed Doc. In 2016, when she heard an elder at their church had invested with Doc, she and Gary did too, investing a total of $50,000. Because I had read his book and I'd listened to the program and I thought it sounded all great. But in 2019, Wilkerson's world fell apart. First she lost her husband, then in March of 2019, the money they invested was gone. I was already under such a tremendous stress from losing my husband that that just really you know, was a punch in the, in the gut. William Gallagher was arrested for the Ponzi scheme. He stole more than $30 million from more than 170 mostly retired victims. He didn't do it alone. In March 2021, Deborah May Carter, Gallagher's alleged mistress, was also arrested and charged for her role. She forged documents to keep money from coming back to the victims. She was, uh more culpable in many ways uh, because I believe that she was the idea person behind the Ponzi scheme. Tarrant County Assistant District Attorney Lori Varnell prosecuted both cases and believes Carter was the mastermind behind the scheme. What struck me about this case was the many ways in which Ms. Carter was deceptive and her ability to keep straight so many different lies that she was spinning. Brenda was a witness for the state in both trials. And Gallagher's, he sat with his arms folded, his eyes closed, he leaned back in the chair with his legs out, never even like he was taking a nap. And she did the same thing. Gallagher was convicted in Dallas and Tarrant County. He was sentenced to three life sentences for his role. This week, Carter received her life sentence. I wanted her to get a life sentence. She damaged too many people's lives. Carter actually ended up representing herself at her trial. The Tarrant County DA's office says their focus is now on trying to get back as much of the victim's money as they possibly can, and they're doing that through a receiver. Brenda Wilkerson told me today that she's seen a little more than $4,000 back from the original $50,000. Boy. Yeah, Yeah, he definitely deserved that with her. Yeah, he deserved that. say you ain't never seen a Nephilim or Nephilim's offspring in person, man, because when you look at the NBA players, man, and the ones especially from out of the country, you know what I'm saying, different countries and stuff like that, hey, prime example, that boy too tall, man, I think he like 7'6", or something like that, 7'1", something like that, crazy. Let me give you a little background so you understand what's going on in this video. Off-duty Galveston police officer sees some people at a pool in an apartment complex. He approaches them and asks if they live there. They said, no, we're visitors, we're guests, we're here for a birthday party. Off-duty officer says, well, you can't be here, respect my authority. They don't respect his authority. So he leaves, comes back with a walkie-talkie and a badge and starts beating the shit out of anybody who won't leave the pool. You, you, you can punch my daughter! 
You just punched my daughter! It's the video going viral online. But this officer beat the hell out of those kids. It shows Galveston police officer Jared Rivas, who was off duty at the time, confronting and allegedly assaulting guests at a birthday pool party, including teenagers. Then the on-duty Galveston police show up, and instead of arresting him, they start helping him. In this still frame, a uniformed officer is holding down a 15-year-old kid, and the off-duty officer runs up and starts beating him in the face with his fist. I put a link to the full video in the description. I'm going to warn you, it is extremely graphic. YouTube has age restrained the video meaning that you have to be signed into YouTube and be 18 or older to even view the unedited video. The on-duty officer pushes the off-duty officer away but still fails to arrest him. After everybody gets the shit beat out of them, they find out that, oh yes, these are actually guests of actual residents and they have every right to be here. Heidi Williams says the off-duty officer punched her 13-year-old son and 14-year-old daughter in the face. And he was like, are y'all residents here? And I was like, no sir, we're not. We're um, guests here. And he was like, well, y'all don't have wristbands, so uh, y'all need to get f up and leave so after the police have arrived everything's settled down the off-duty officer picks a fight with another family hits another teenager hits a 23 year old man and gets in the face of their mother this fight once again instigated by the same off-duty officer was a completely separate brawl from the first incident he caused once again on duty galveston officer stand by and let him fight everybody everybody leaves without charges then the cell phone videos of this off-duty cop beating the shit out of everybody at the pool starts going viral the public starts getting pissed off asking one why wasn't he arrested right there on the spot and two why aren't you arresting him now? Due to public outcry, the Galveston County District Attorney's Office says, okay, we'll investigate it to see if there was a crime. So now the District Attorney's Office has spent two weeks trying to figure out if there's probable cause to make an arrest on this guy for beating the shit out of everybody in sight. Galveston County DA's office says it is too early in the investigation to know if charges will be brought against a suspended police officer, Jared Rivas, for his role in a pool brawl last week. Now, I'm no cop or lawyer. I'm just a YouTuber who baits cops. So what the hell would I know about whether or not beating the shit out of everybody is illegal or not? That's why we pay taxes, right? So that our expert government can figure... Man, I'm sorry. You can say what you want, man. Talking about we pay taxes, man. You the police, off duty, on duty, man. You ain't, you ain't finna put your hands on my child like that, man. Come on, man. My child ain't doing nothing wrong. My child ain't trying to harm you. Especially ain't got no weapons. You think you gonna punch my kid in the face? Say, man. And as a man, you sorry than a motherfucker, man. If you <laughs> allow that, I don't care who it is. Boy, you tripping. Something wrong with this, man. What is the world going to, man? Them is children's, man. Kids. Children. You don't do that. They playing in the pool. Call their parents, man. Tell them to get out the pool, man. You don't beat them up. That dude had to be drunk or something. Galveston, we have a problem. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. What would you do? What would you do in that predicament? You think that's okay? I'm telling you, if you drink Arizona teas, Ugh. you need to watch this. Because too many people are finding this goop in they Arizona tea cans. And nobody knows what this is. But check this video out. This getting left right here. What the fuck is that? What? Let me see that shit. What? So, uh, yeah. It's a no for me. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all still want to take that risk? Or would you rather go and demand that they change their product? Or we could just all stop shopping with these companies. <laughs> That's the best option, y'all. We don't have to buy the poison. It's a choice. It really is. You can stop buying these things and we will stop being poisoned. Boy, that's disgusting. Let me know, have you ever had that happen to you Drink Arizona tea or any other beverage at that? Especially Nest tea or something like that, man. That's nasty, man. No more, no more Arizona for me. For sure. Right in everyone's faces, in broad daylight, at one of the most popular and largest events, selling human beings. 14 arrested and 10 victims freed at San Diego Comic-Con in human trafficking bust.
Law enforcement agents posed as customers and were able to recover the 10 victims, one of which was as young as 16 years old. So if you're someone who thinks shit like this doesn't actually go on, oh, it does. Right in front of your face and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, though. That's crazy. This for the ladies out there. And some of y'all men, too. <laughs> Look at this here, man. It's crazy. So God updated the servers again last night, y'all, and uh, he gave us this new DLC. It's a yellow quill tip porcupine. Never seen one of these in my life. Can't tell by the tail. Looks like a possum. But uh, yeah, that's the update. That yellow porcupine, come on now. One sandwich in, and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is even in the inside of these bitches. It took that much to get it to break. This is gonna go. Not a single person is tearing Don't up right now. Boy, the watermelon was painted. Look what the fuck the vinegar did. It opened up the fake chicken. This is that science, like science lab made meat. Look at this shit. Mm -hmm. It's like stringy. This does not look like a steak. Here we go, guys. What do you eat? Lab grown meat? Or do you think that we don't know enough? Comment below, share, follow. Thanks, guys. Um, dear internet. I ain't gonna lie, I've been mad too, cause that look like a big old tomahawk. That was one of them big boys. Shoot, man. Um, first of all, I soaked this meat in the vinegar, and yes, it changed color. Like, it went from pink to brown. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just the vinegar that got in there. But why is this be holographic? Okay. Oh, no, not the salmon. Just, oh, look at that. It's like. Straight mush. Let me know. Have you had some stories? If do you have some stories? Have you ever had some of those incidents happen to you? Especially like McDonald's or the fruit or the meat. Like me, I had McDonald's. Man, I had a, a McDouble. I had two McDoubles. Tell me why when I bit into them, they tasted like a sausage, sausage patty, like a sausage biscuit or something, man. And I'm just like, man, this is. It's ground beef. It's a patty, but it it's tasting like the sausage patty, like for the breakfast day. I'm like, no, I know I ain't tripping. It's to basically it's tasting like pork, and you know what else they say tastes like pork? If you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. And I was like, oh man, I was scared, man. I was like, oh, I threw it away instantly. I was like, man, this is uh maybe I'm tripping out, but uh I'd rather be safe than sorry. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god, yo! <laughs> sad, sad time. Holy shit! <laughs> like, like right now, dude. Like, I feel like fucking. Fuck your Xanax, dude. This shit only three dollars a can, dude. Three dollars, dude. I get as high as fucking meth. Like ten times as high as meth, dude. Fuck meth. Shit, dude.
Oh, man. Dude, try some, dude. I'm nah. not even fucking playing like this. Oh my fucking god! Oh. Oh. Yo, is he dying? Watch your kids, watch your kids, cause uh, this is, if y'all got kids right now, like this teens and stuff or older, this is what's going on right now, you know what I'm saying? One of the things. You gotta watch them, man. And then, uh, as you can see, man, if you see what, if you was reading the, the captions, what happened? Yeah, man. R.P. to the young soul, to the young man. One thing I know that I am afraid of is people who have a high level of discernment, but you will never be able to tell that they have a high level of discernment. They pick up on your motive, they pick up on your character, they pick up on your fruit, they pick up on your assignment, but you won't really know because they're not going to treat you disrespectfully, they're not going to treat you bad, they're going to act the same around you, and you just not going to know, but they know that they know. They're going to treat you with the love of God, and you just not going to know that they know exactly what you think that they don't know. This is why you got to be careful how you treat people. Be careful how you talk to people. These people know your assignment. Y'all be y'all go y'all talk to people with these the prophetic gifts and these high level. I'm talking about people that are in God that can see your motive from a mile away, but you ain't gonna know that they know. They just gonna come around to you and show you the love of God, and they are gonna laugh with you. They are gonna smile with you, but in, in their prayer closet, they praying against that demon that's using you. They praying against that demonic assignment. They, are, they have already set up boundaries. They have already set up borders. They have already guarded their heart. And you don't even know that they know exactly what you were sent to do. Again, be careful of how you treat people. Anybody. Be definitely uh, careful how you treat people with these high level of discernment in God. They walk with God. They talk with God. God talks to them just like I'm talking to you right now. And you wouldn't even know that the devil that's using you. They have already seen from a mile away. Hey, and she ain't lying. All lies on you. Just gonna play the fool, the fool, the fool. If you heard that before, if you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's go, because the show must go on. Camps. The camps are your final stop. You never leave. Never. But those who control the Sentinels don't stop with mutants. Eventually, they bring their new world order to all humans. 1993, Super Mario Bros. The movie. Look! It's Cooper's Tower! 1994, Iron Man cartoon. Season 1, Episode 5. Unidentified warplane sighted heading for New York City. Our detection system shows nothing. Mayday! Mayday! Ooh. New York is under attack! Intercept and destroy! A force field is shielding the warplane. It's, it's getting through. It's time. We will now strike at the heart of American defense and destroy the Pentagon with one swift and deadly blow. <laughs> 1994, Arrow Fighter 2 video game. Nineteen ninety four, Fantastic Four, Season One, Episode Four. Nineteen ninety four, Viceland Magazine article. Nineteen ninety four, Friends intro debut. Nineteen ninety four, Deathstroke the Terminator comic book cover. Nineteen ninety five, The Tick, Season One, Episode Twelve. We are under attack. Things so monstrous, terror unleashed from the sacred cotton candy place of our dreams. If anyone is out there listening, get out of town before it gets to you. And I'm out of here.
1995. Hackers. <laughs> Beat that. 1995. Philips Home Cinema Commercial. Pictures so real you won't believe your eyes. Dolby ProLogic surround sound so exciting your eyes won't believe your ears. The ultimate home cinema televisions from Philips, including 100 Hz flicker free pictures and widescreens. Philips, let's make things better. 1995, Illuminati card game. Nineteen ninety six, the long kiss good night. Nineteen ninety three, World Trade Center bombing. Remember? During the trial, one of the bombers claimed the CIA had advanced knowledge. <laughs> the diplomat who issued the terrorist visa was CIA. It's not unthinkable they paved the way for the bombing, purely to justify a budget increase. You're telling me that you're gonna fake some terrorist thing just to scare some money out of Congress? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Hennessy, I have no idea how to fake killing 4,000 people. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna have to do it for real. Oh, blame it on the Muslims, naturally. <laughs> then I get my funding. Good night, old girl. 1996. This is a steal from Independence Day, but they show this briefly in the movie. Nineteen ninety seven, Men in Black Cartoon, Season One, Episode Six. Uh, Slim, remember those twin towers? Yeah, what about them? I don't think they're gonna be so tall anymore. Oh no. Nineteen ninety seven, The Simpsons, Season Nine, Episode One. Oh, I'd love to see New York. We could all go with the bus company's special super sitter fare. Nine bucks? This one's on me. Great! And real quick, here's a clip from season 21, episode 20, which is a continuation after 9-11. Is this what the framers of the Constitution would want? How many personal freedoms are we willing to give up in the name of security? <laughs> That blonde girl thinks she's smart, like us dark hairs. 1997, Extreme Ghostbusters, Season 1, Episode 38. I'm afraid it's simply retreated in order to regenerate and regroup, readying for another attack. Manhattan. Guys, I think it's time for some serious firepower. 1997. German Mario Bros. comic. Nineteen ninety seven Emergency Response to Terrorism Self Study. Nineteen ninety seven Saint John's Cathedral. It has a Freemasonic sculpting depicting a disaster in New York. 1998, Armageddon. I'm going. I'm going. Well, you know why? Because this is New York City. Anything could have happened. Listen to that. Uh, let me see. It could have been a terrorist bomb. Could have been a dead body. Somebody shot, stabbed. And it's Friday payday, too. Somebody probably jumped to get that paycheck. Nineteen ninety-eight, The Parent Trap. How weird is that? Extremely. Nineteen ninety-eight. A steal from the movie Godzilla. 1998, Pirelli Tires Ad. 1999, Batman Beyond. Season 2, Episode 12. 1999, 1999, Fight Club. 
you just seen that clip, man. We didn't hear it too many times about it, man, for it just to be a coincidence. But see, when you finally open your eyes and you finally really awaken, awaken, it's easy to see. You know, that's why I say, man, perception is everything. A lack of perception breeds what? Deception. <laughs> Deception. You know? And uh, you can't have that, man. Don't like I always tell y'all, don't fall for the boo boo, man. You know, y'all my rare. This is my rare breed crew. Y'all are my rare breed crew, cause everybody ain't gonna be able to, you know, perceive this, you know, this knowledge and perceive what's really going on out here, man. They gonna fall for the boo boo, man. And it's up to us, you know what I'm saying, to help, help out and try to awaken other people and, you know, help them open their eyes, cause a lot of people eyes are. I, they, they, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like they say, you got your eyes wide shut, man. But, yeah, I mean, come on now. Let's go, man. Let me know what you think about that clip, man. There's too many coincidences. I know ain't nothing a coincidence. Let's get it. Hit that like button. 1949, Porky Pig and Charlie Dog cartoon. Look. Look. What's that? Nineteen sixty three Wonder Woman comic book cover. Nineteen seventy Thirty Seconds Over New York, book by Robert Bacard. Nineteen seventy three Godzilla vs. Megalon movie poster. Nineteen seventy three Superman comic. 1975, Cracked Magazine Cover 1976, 9-11, a book by Thomas Chastain 1976, Sesame Street Magazine Cover 1976, Spidey Super Stories Comic Book Cover 1978 Super Friends TV show The episode entitled Monolith of Evil 1978 Dr. John City Lights album cover 1979 Meteor movie poster 1979 Super Tramp Breakfast in America album cover 1979 Saga Images at Twilight album cover 1979 Pakistan International Airlines ad 1983, Def Leppard, Pyromania album cover. 1983, a book by Jose Borja. 1985, G.I. Joe, episode 46. You just stand right there, sonny. Straight ahead, hold still while we scan. Hey! Transaction approved. Subject's retinal scan matches no known dissident, subversive, or enemy of state on file. Have a nice day. Hey! Come back here! This money ain't no good! It's US dollars! Absolutely worthless! 1986, Daredevil comic book cover. 1986, Real Ghostbusters, Season 1, Episode 12. 1986, Dream Machine. There's computers where the resolution is so high that you can't 
can never tell that it was ever touched by anything, which raises the whole question of photography as evidence of anything. I don't even think people are aware of how much computer graphics is used today. There's just a whole question now of what is real. Create a new reality by adding an erupting volcano to the San Francisco skyline. Remove the World Trade Center from the New York City skyline. 1987, The Squeeze movie cover. Nineteen eighty seven, cover of Fortune International magazine. Nineteen eighty eight. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Season 2, Episode 7. Bad news, Master Splinter. Shredder is up to something, but he ran off before we could discover what. All we know is it had something to do with the Twin Towers. Sooner or later, he will reveal his plan. Like, what do you suppose Shredder's up to this time? Michelangelo, you heard April's message. He has been spotted on the roof of the World Trade Center. <laughs> it's for sure he's not there for the view. Hey! <laughs> Hang on! We're gonna crap! 1988, Microsoft Flight Simulator. 1989, WWF. too much to be a coincidence man it's too many coincidences just to be a coincidence that's all i'm gonna say but uh all this is alleged y'all like i always tell y'all man these videos are for entertainment purposes only entertainment purposes only don't believe anything that you hear or see in these videos don't believe anything that i say in these videos always do your own research and always use your own discernment let's get it I'm sure you've been in like a car that's probably from the 60s, like 68. I, I have a 69 Camaro and, or no, like 68 Camaro. And when you look at the dashboard, you're just like, it's all analog. There is no, there's no automatic anything at all other than the transmission. And that's, and that's it. And like, you're just going, how did they go to the moon with just math? math and like strapping yourself to a giant rocket and and like it's just it's crazy to think about i you know that's why obviously there's all this conspiracy of did they go did they not go but and that's why we have the movie obviously because you know nasa was such a curtain that you don't that it wouldn't let you know what's going on behind the curtain but you know that's what like leaves it open to, to kind of have your uh, fictional historical sort of movie but I personally think that they went. I talked to way too many people that were there and saw the undertaking in which it actually was. I don't think you faked that. I just don't believe it. Ah, uh, man. How many of y'all heard of that movie that's coming out, man? You know what I'm saying? How many of y'all heard of it? What do you think about it? If you've seen the previews, let me know. Down below in the comment section. Is NASA finally admitting to faking the moon landing with a new movie called Fly Me to the Moon? Check this out. The whole world will be watching. We can't afford to lose to the Russians. We need to shoot that version of the moon landing. You mean to fake it? No one can ever know what we're doing. I cannot accept that. They will shoot you. What is my budget? Oh, oh. I know a lot more about the moon than I know about you. Give me go, no go for launch. If you fake this mission, every single thing that we have sacrificed will have been for nothing. You know you couldn't have made it to the sea without me. Me to the moon is the movie for the summer, huh? Y'all, let me know what y'all think about that down below in the comment section. 
Well, y'all, this is the end of the video. I appreciate you for staying, kicking here to watch it with me. If you've been here from the beginning to now, you are real MVP. Y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, especially if you're new to the channel. It's your boy Kuzi. I'm out. Holla.